Hi, I'm Donna from Artcraft Crazy and today I'm going to show you how to make a portfolio. Now everybody probably already knows how to make a portfolio but this one is for a Christmas gift and what I've also done is made it um, with a, a money envelope. So instead of giving um, a money in an envelope that you've just picked up out of your pile of envelopes or bought it with a card, you can make something like this that is a little nicer even. So you've got some money, right? And you want to give somebody some money for Christmas. So I've just got $10 here and this envelope, it will fit quite a few different uh, sizes of money. So it's just in a long skinny shape, which is perfect for paper money. Now what, I, what I've done is I've made it so that it just slips in here easy and you can put the money in there, you can make it, I've made it a, a trendy portfolio so that they can use it after Christmas. When you give something, you can make it in a Christmas theme, like I'm going to show you one here in a Christmas theme. And here's another one. So here's another, you know, you can make it very Christmassy. That can be your portfolio. And this one here can be your envelope. So you can do it in reverse. It just depends on whether you want somebody to be able to use this later on. So once your envelope's made, I've made that into a Christmassy style envelope because that's the actual gift. I've made it very um, traveller's notebook style too. So it's got the elastic in the centre and I've made some grid paper and just put shopping lists on it. So there's a few sheets of paper there. So this is quite useful later on and you can put, you know, a, a thank you card or your message card in the back here in this little pocket. I've got some other bits and pieces here too that if you wanted to go even further and personalize it so that looks good as well this would be ideal if somebody's saving to go on an overseas trip you can give them some money in their christmas envelope knowing that they're saving for a trip and you can write your message on there so it is something just a little bit different for christmas time now I'll supply you with this instruction sheet and it just it will show you step by step. You've got the choice of the two envelope patterns. If you want the pattern straight across, use this one. If you don't mind that your pattern on your paper is on an angle, use this one. This one can be quite effective uh, depending on your print and then cut it out. And this one here is the portfolio. I've got the pattern here for you. All the portfolio is is a 8 and 1 16th by 10 and a quarter piece of cardstock or heavy-ish paper. Uh, it'll work with both. Okay, so we'll cut that out first. I'm going to use the same paper to cut out the slanted pocket. I've got the, the pocket here. So we'll leave that right in the corner. Trace there and there and cut that out. I'll rub out those pencil lines. They say will forever haunt you if you leave them there. Okay, so there's our portfolio. We'll score those lines. Okay, now the instructions are here and they show you where your score marks are. The first one is at three and three quarters. The second is at seven and a half and that's your cut line which will come to the end. So the first one at three and three quarters. I'm not going to go too deep or heavy handed with that score line. The second one at seven and a half. Also not too, too deep. And that's it for the score lines. 
Okay, you'll see what I mean when you fold that over the, that way. You need that to check and see where your pattern's going to fall when you start folding over. You don't want it to be upside down. So square that up here. Don't worry about your score line just yet. It'll just fall into place, but making sure that's nice and square. Then do the same on this side. Square it up and your score line will fall into place. Use your finger and then your bone folder. That's the front, that's the back, and I'll glue that down. Now you can use double-sided tape or you can use your liquid glue. I like to use the liquid glue here and I use it in just dots a little bit away from the edge of the line because that way when you use it a little bit away from the edge of the line when you push it down it's not going to squish out you don't want glue all over your project so I only need to put it down the side and across the bottom Flip that over and pop it in the corner and square it right up. I'm not going to squish that glue out everywhere just yet. I'm just gently pushing it down and those little dots will spread. Do the same here, but this time I'm going to put a little bit of tape. I'll use some double-sided tape. It gets some extra strength because I'm going to be sliding that envelope in and out or the person that I give this to will be, they'll be sliding their envelope in and out. Add the glue as well. Use my little dot sequence again. It's a very quick project to make. If you wanted to make this in a birthday theme, if you you know had to quickly go get ready for a birthday and you want to give money, this is a perfect card type gift you know, a gift card rather than the old envelope that you get with a card from the news agency. So this turns out really nice. Now I've got a, what is a pat, a pattern notcher. I got this, I've had this since oh, the 80s. So I've had it a long time. It's what I used to use when I was a pattern maker. Oh, I still am a pattern maker. But that's what it does. It, it cuts the notch out. Perfect for threading through the piece of elastic. It's just perfect. It gives that little notch and it just sits in that little notch perfectly. So that's ready. All I've got to do now is make the envelope for that. So like I said, this one's in reverse. We're going to have a plain portfolio with a fancy pants money envelope for the inside. So I'll cut that out and I'll be back. This envelope will fit on an A4 piece of paper as well. And you just get your pencil, trace around and then cut it out. All right, now I've got my envelope cut out. I'm just going to, instead of scoring it because it's not very thick, I'm just going to fold the envelope in and to get you need to cut this out really well to get it square so make sure you cut this out really well all of these areas here need to be quite square put your ruler right on the edge of that line and that line and square it right up because I'm going to fold this flap parallel with those two lines. Now I'm going to use my scanner cut scraper 
and I'm just going to lift it up that way, fold, turn it over, and crease that line. So I'm virtually creasing it rather than scoring it. I'm going to fold that down, and you'll see that it's parallel straight up the side. I'm going to do the same again on the other side. Parallel that line and that line. Crease them. Now I can tell the top and the bottom because the top has got the rounded corners and the bottom has got those little squares. So I'm just going to do the same again. I'm going to crease the bottoms. I'm going to leave the side flaps in. Find that parallel line there and that one there. Line my ruler up with it. Lift up my flap. Crease it one way. Turn my scraper over and get a nice crease on it and starting from the middle back out crease that down before I fold that flap there I'm going to glue down my bottom flaps that's just to keep it all neat and tidy and in order using my dot method again staying away from the edge because I don't want my money to be stuck to the glue when I put it in here and I don't want any glue to be washing out. So I'm just putting it down gently so I'm not squishing that glue out. I'll give that a second and then I will give it some more pressure. But while that's starting to set, I'll line up the top here. Now I've slanted that top bit there so that when you fold that, well I've done that in my pattern making, so when you fold this over it's not going to hit that top part of the envelope so find that top notch there and that one there and do the same again crease that envelope and it will turn out nice and square provided you follow all of those marks right in the corner now I can squish down my glue marks Squish down the edge of each envelope fold. Get those creases nice and I have an envelope for the portfolio. That looks pretty good. So I love the reverse. I love the way the colours work either way, whether or not you're doing a plain portfolio with a pattern envelope or whether you're doing a, a pattern portfolio with a plain envelope. So all that's left to do is put the elastic on. So in through these two notches from the inside a bit more up when you tie your elastic on you want it to be not too tight and not too loose so you don't want the cardboard to bend but you don't want your had elastic to be too floppy because your papers won't hold in properly. Now I'm going to do my first knot and then I'm going to turn that around and do the second knot. You can put another knot there and another knot there for decoration like I did on this one. There's a knot there. And there's another knot there and then I tied a knot there it just gave it that little bit of a, a more of a decoration now you can cut off your excess elastic and the, the black you can use black or brown I use brown on that one and the brown worked really well with it I'll go ahead and I'll put some elastic on that and I'll show you some more examples. 
So keep watching and you'll be able to check out the variations that I've made. I'm Donna from Artcraft Crazy. Thanks for watching and bye for now. times have I fallen for your heavy promise you never deliver how many times all the words that you said had me mixing the sweet with the bitter but I know what you're saying no need no explaining you're making me shake and shiver you shine in your shoes but hey I got news I ain't falling for all of that glitter this time ready as I can be this time I'll be running free I've been afraid to go out in the night just to fall on my deepest desire how many times did i call it a day leaving all of my hopes in the fire i know what you're saying don't need no explaining you're making me shake and shiver you're shining your shoes but hey i got news i ain't falling for all of that glitter this time My heart is rising I'm taking it step by 